real unique design you've got here. What's it called? Thank you. It's called a Quick Air Model 1. Now, is this based on something else? Yeah, what it originally started was a bare bone of a Sky Raider. They had started in the early times of their first getting geared up for dual control two seat uh, tandem. And I got it off them and then I had some changes that was going on in it with the longer wing, flat bottom and finished the dual controls out in it there. And uh, what I did more, more of it too is I dropped the door entry down, make it easier to get in and out of it. And uh, like, you, like I was saying, the wings were longer and I moved the lift struts out 18 inches further and went to a one inch tubing, chromoly, give me some more lift out on the length of the wing there. And now what's the reason for that? Well, the idea of it was is it just was too in tight for me, looking at it wise. I didn't seem like I had enough support out there, so I moved it out there to give me better wing support and loaded the wing because I also put the 14-gallon uh, wing tanks in it, so it holds that a little bit better of a load. And the beauty of it is, too, it, it gives it better support. Now, this is a longer wing as well? Yeah, this is a longer wing. I don't think they've got a wing out like this, let alone with the flat bottom wing because theirs has all got the under camber. Now, again, why go to the flat bottom rather than the under? Uh, the well, camera? the idea of it was, is years ago, uh, I worked with another company and uh, we tried the uh, flat bottom wing as a 12 foot wing, and it was very effective. It worked good, flew well, and even had a good cruise. It still had a pretty decent rate of climb. But with the lo longer wing, I got the slower flying ability down, still kept a good cruise. And it's pretty unique, uh, not one out there, so it's a neat wing. Now, you also air, uh, uh, put a lot of airfoils onto everything. Uh, uh, when you look at the airplane? Uh, cleanless wise here, I this is here off the good old Avid Magnums for fairing wise there. And uh, the lift struts are all fair? Yeah, the lift struts, that's a good one too there. I, I took a friend of mine, Eric, he's really good with wood, and we took this as 2x4 clear number one cedar, and we sawed it to this tapered shape. And then I covered it in fabric so it gives it the aluminum look. And I also did it here on the jury struts, and I also went with the tube lifting struts back there for the stabilizer and fare them in as well. And just gives it a clean look, the rugged look to itself. And then also what I did is I welded bushings on the inside because I also added longerons more than what stock was. And I put dual lift handling lifting points on both sides there. So I can lift it up on either side so I'm not favored to one side for lifting. And now, the suspension looks a little bit wider and you've got some massive gear uh, <laughs> on there as well. What I did is, is a, a very close friend that family member, uh, um, Hillcore Machine, Stephen Gilbert, or Gilmer there, he uh, helped me machine. What I did is I built hubs for it there, he did for me, so I could mount the rotor and the caliper all in one and make it like a trailer wheel. So just pull the full lug nuts off, the tire comes off freely. So no more taking the rotor bolts out to get your tire and wheel off. But standard wise, it's a bigger gear. I didn't do anything there. I did add more bungee wrap around my bungee cords and then Actually, I built my little, made my little uh, cuffs there for it. And, and what are we powering it with? I got a Jabru 2200 in there. So that's the four cylinder 85 horsepower? Yes, sir, yeah. So far, it's been a sweet motor. Very good at that. And what kind of performance do we get out of with this engine? Uh, well, uh, it's nothing to go 85 miles an hour, and that's what I put it at as cruise. And. Uh, my takeoff speed, uh, I could be off the ground in under two seconds, and uh, my climb out is easily 15 plus, depending weather-wise and all that, as we all know. Uh, I've stalled at 28 and set her down peacefully. I've uh, stopped within 100 feet and been off within 100 feet. I could say that as well, too. Now, control system-wise, it's a standard stick and rotor type of control line? Yes, sir. That's exactly what I stayed with that. Uh, one thing I did is I made a longer flap on it. so. You can see it here. I made a bigger flap in the unit itself, and I shortened a little bit on the ailerons. I kind of copied old Greg Miller with his small, like the way he did his. So I kind of built the wing to that configuration. And uh, stall-wise, slow spots, whatever you need for a flap, the thing does its job. I also notice you've got just squared off uh, wing tips. Yeah, I've kind of been pondering that a little bit. Uh, thing of it is, if a guy wants to build any kind of a trailer. It would be a pretty long trailer because it does fold, the wings fold, we know that. I didn't really want to go with the droop tips. And I've been thinking about just going to fences out there, but at this time I just left them as they are. It's a straight tip. Now how long did it take you to build it to finish as it is now? Well, um, three years. And as of May 1st, it's a year old flying. So I got 44 hours on it. 
and it was a ultimate moment when it first came off the ground. It was pretty impressive and got the video of that for the first time too on YouTube. And pretty neat. So yeah, it's uh, been going pr very well. Now, you just built this thing for yourself? Or are you looking well, I would sure plans? like to sometime see about putting production into this thing. Uh, there's so many out there that resemble these designs and there's some marketing uh, companies now that are pretty well up there. But I don't see why this wouldn't fall into a category to be able to be built. It's pretty clean. Uh, the things that I've done to it beautifies it, strengthens it, uh, gives it some unique. Uh, lots more room in the headroom back there in the turtle deck area by building that design differently from what I did. And I think it'd be a neat plane. I really do. So if somebody wanted to get in touch with you, get a little more information, do you have a website or something you can go to? Yeah, I've got, it's kquickair at hotmail.com, all small letters. And yeah, I've got lots of viewing on there. I could always send you information of anything, if there's ever anything like that that anybody asks for, sure. Thank you very much for your all time. All right, thank you.